Great Falls, the storm snapped tree limbs, damaged crops, and caused some lowland flooding. A team of National Weather Service meteorologists was out assessing the damage in the areas hit hardest by that severe weather. The insurance companies are going to look if there's claims to see if there was hail or wind or tornado damage. Of course, research and the, the folks issuing the warnings, we, we'd like to know how we're doing. And we want you to check out this amazing time lapse. This was the storm north of Roundup last night. This storm included two tornadoes that spotters witnessed touchdown. One over near Judith Gap, another just near Roundup. Pretty amazing video from Q2 viewer Mark Higgins. And Ed McIntosh tells us that storm dropped as much as an inch and a half of rain in some areas near Fort Peck in just a matter of minutes. Ed will be joining us a bit later in this program tonight to bring us the latest on the storm situation across our state tonight.